No, us, us planner people, we never overpurchase. Never, never. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so what I've done for this video is just giving you a few suggestions on ways you can use your undated daily. Now, I do have ideas and I've started a mock-up here last week of what we could do with our undated daily, or excuse me, our dated flagship that I have. I want to work on this a little bit more, get a couple more weekly ideas for you, and then send out that video. But this video is all going to be just about the undated Moxie Life Daily. Now this is the new one. It has the thinner covers. Um, basically the internal layout is just, just about the same. So you could obviously use last year's inserts or a dated, undated daily planner of your maker of choice. It doesn't have to be Moxie Life. In this instance, I know everyone was so amazing when it came to the release of this moxie life collection um, they always they, everyone seemed to throw in a daily planner now this obviously is a video for paper planning but you can certainly do this with digital as well i think you actually have more options with digital as well in this i have filled out a monthly a weekly and a daily section to give you ideas on how uh, not just one daily section, like four or five of them. So you can look at different options. We're going to go ahead and start with the monthly. The monthly obviously is undated. You can date it however you want to. I received the planner just at the tail end of the week prior so I could get all my videos. And I didn't start working it until the 16th of October. Why not start at a, whenever you get it? and date it all the way till whenever you want to finish using it. Now, obviously this is October and November. I could have done different colors, different pens, lots of different ways, but this is very bare bones. We'll get into more stuff as we move forward. But I, I like to track my cleaning because it doesn't happen all that often. Obviously, um, it, you can use your um, Zig color, cut, uh, color dots here to get things checked off or you can actually plan ahead and think, okay, I can use this for uh, a cleaning calendar. I, I haven't seen that whole lot of people use a cleaning calendar. I always use my monthly spread regardless in whatever paper planner I have because I really need to track these things when I actually do sheets because time really flies for me. Um, let's go ahead and move into our weekly action section. Um, this, I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone use pictures. Why not use pictures? What I did is I used my little Canon IV. It's a very small little printer. And I put four pictures to one page. So your cost is very minimal at best for this. And I just actually took pictures from my week. And then I also took pictures of some of the action items, the top of my dresser that needs to get cleaned off right? That's a great weekly action item for me because under my physical environment, obviously I've got longer term goals and this is just one more step in helping me get there, get the declutter gone. Um, obviously you don't have to use pictures. You can even draw. Um, I know for the um, annual goals um, for Moxie Life, they have gone from line to a dot grid they might think about doing that um, for the monthly goals or maybe even the weekly action goals in the future because not everybody is a writer. I, I certainly am not um, too terribly amazing at writing. Um, I like to use pictures and whatnot for mine. Let's go ahead and focus in on our weekly spread. Now this weekly spread is um, standard and every single week you always get a weekly layout like this. This time I'm moving it for my move exercise and stand goals from my Apple Watch and of course for my closed rings I did do a zig color dot. Love that highlighter. Um, I will try to link those below if you have not seen those. They're really handy to have um, just to do quick dots and of course I can date it however I want it but you you know this is a great idea for you to use for the weekly layout a lot of people use it for meal plans um, but this is a great action item if that's something that is working towards your goals here we have um, another layout that I thought would be handy <clears throat> So what I've done is taken your classic to-do section and I've divided it into two sections. I've got your physical and my emotional states. And what I've done is put 
times here. I could also use, let's say, some stickers and go through and put some stickers down instead of writing. And that way you get another layer of, of, of uh, fun to your planner and you don't always have to write in it. Um, I tried to make this as minimal as possible just so you could see just from um, the standpoint of it, its structure how this really works. So uh, what I did here was I never, my physical action. So I woke up dehydrated and then um, my emotional state with that. I was trying to be in tune with my body and if there's an emotional reaction. And then um, I have a trigger which I've color coded dots there. And this is obviously for one day. Uh, I have my move, exercise, and stand goals which I forgot to write in there but those are on the page for prior. Hydration and food. Um, obviously you can use those time slots here for those at which time do you eat, which may correspond to a physical or emotional action. So it kind of all comes together. And then of course I have my color zig color dots for um, my H2O consumption. I also thought it would be very fun to do um, a sleep kilocalories and your weights for every single day and then kind of um, go over my range of emotions. I didn't put a title on that, but basically it is a mood tracker, how you felt throughout the day. I made a little goof mistake because I missed um, the fact that this one existed. So I just need to white out that. But other than that, you certainly can see that there's a tracking period. And of course you can put a picture, draw a picture, or even write a little bit here in your planner as well. Here's two more spreads. Now you don't have to use your daily planner for a daily planner. Certainly you can use it for an entire week. I thought this would be a fun one to do to track all of my AM and PM routines. Then once I have those routines, I can go ahead and um, you know, dot them throughout the day, throughout the week, and then tally them up. How did I do in a, in a matter of four days? or five days for school lunches, that sort of thing. So you can see where your habits are tracking and if you're trying to get your goals done. As you can see up here, you have rings closed. How many days did I do that? And then three days of water. Water has always been one of my cruxes, so I'm trying to get more water intake. So to see myself more successful with just three glasses a day, makes me feel better. Social media time is a great another thing you can track. Obviously I'm awake between six and nine or eight in this matter and I can see how long I was on social media every single day for the entire week. That's a crazy amount of time, 17.5 Again, we did have a release from Oxy Life this week, so I felt like I was on social a little bit better. No judgment, but um, what else could I be doing with my time other than being on social media? Then I have three other trackers down here. I just use this dot grid space to have a Monday through Sunday. Um, <clears throat> it then tracked my sleep, my work, and my home, meaning like cleaning, etc., laundry, those sorts of things. For my next layout, I've done another weekly spread. This one is for financial trackers. What I've done is every day, single day tracked exactly what I was spending on and then done one, uh, Monday through Sunday. And then at the end of the week, I've gone ahead and um, used a highlighter to highlight categories and put the categories over here in the time section. Those time section dots are so small and so um, faint. You, you won't even notice them when you write over them, to be honest. You don't even have to add the highlighter. But I love the fact that they're color coded. And then I have categories which will correspond to my other financial tracker where I can write down how much I've spent in each of the categories. And then I use my the focus up here for three cheats, make sure I'm under budget for my cheats for the week. And then I've got, um, you could do balances, savings, checking, sinking funds, and then I need to move over $433 for my car account to cover all of the oil chains and the brake work I had done just this last week. And then of course you can use your bills due. And I did use the, the Mueller from Moxie Life to make some of these uh, little squares. So that worked out great too. There's two more, one more I have to show you. Um, is this one. This one is more of a reference page. Now you certainly can make one of the tabs, which I think are a great idea. All the tabs are un, 
um, are, are clear. So you don't have to actually make it a, a, a month. You can make one tab be health, one tab be reference, one tab be home. Um, and you can use it like that for this planner. Making sure you use each single page effectively in this planner really makes a big difference in cost per page. We've got reference. Um, I I always wonder how long does it take for me to do anything in the house? Um, four minutes to unload the dishwasher. Doesn't seem like a ton of time when you write it down, but timing yourself on how long you do certain things through the day will help with your time blocking. So um, I love time blocking. I'm a super big fan of it. Like my ideal day, um, I have workouts, we have orders, we have lunch, and then I have a big chunk in the afternoon before homework, kids get home, evening activities, and bedtime. So what can I do to be more productive during that time? I can schedule out some of those um, activities that I need to get done during the week on my ideal day. And then you have, I have a little brainstorming here for <clears throat> AM routine and PM routine. What is a non-negotiable? Um, a non-negotiable to me is like a ritual. It needs to happen. Um, obviously, I've got that down here with my zig color markers. I've got my non-negotiables. And then I have things that can be done later. Like sometimes I'm so tired at the end of the evening that I work on my gratitude first thing in the morning instead at night. So that is just another way to use this daily spread. With that, I'm all finished with the Moxie Life data, Undated Daily. You certainly can use it for however you want or just use it for planning. That's a great option too, obviously. That's why we purposely bought it. But you never know. Things change, priorities change, and goals change. I'll see you guys next time with another video. If you guys like and please subscribe to my channel, you'll see a myriad of different types of videos all centered on how to make your life the best it should be for you. Thanks guys. I appreciate your time and I will talk to you guys later. See you next time. Bye.